I am home. I am home. I am home. Thank God I'm home. It feels good to be home. Today, for some odd reason, it just feels like it was the longest day of my life. Like, holy crap. So after I did my nails, I, oh, I didn't even show you guys. Hold up. There we go. It, they are just everything. I am so obsessed. So that's the right hand. And then the left hand. Boom, boom, boom. The, the guy I went to, this nail tech I went to, he did such a great job. And I am just, I'm pleased. I'm so pleased. I'm loving these blue tips. Like, they just look so, so bomb. So, after I left the nail salon, I went to Yorkdale. I finally made the return that I've been telling you guys I was supposed to make. So, I returned the heels um, at Zara. I did get a few things. I got a few things. Got a few things. Got a few things. So, I got to Zara and... I ended up picking up this apple green bodysuit. You know, it's just simple, basic bodysuit to just put on, especially if you're gonna wear, wear it like under a blazer or something. And while I was in the line, I ended up picking up this perfume. Now this was a blind buy because I don't even know what it smells like. This is called Woman Gold. This is their evening collection, but I just, I trust that it will smell good because I've purchased perfumes from Zara. I've purchased perfumes from Zara in the past and they are really, really good. As a matter of fact, let me open it right now. Regardless of what it smells like, I'm keeping it. Okay. So this is the bottle mm -hmm. let's let's try it let's try it oh my gosh you guys this perfume smells mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this perfume smells so good it smells so good Mm. I love the bottle. It reminds me of my Burberry. My uh, It reminds me of my Burberry perfume. I love the bottle. It smells so good. Like, take my word. Take Tamara's word. So, got my hair in a bun. It's a low bun. Bun's back there. So, I picked up this um, apple green bodysuit. I also got this shirt right here it is so cute i love it and then i also got myself this bomb white blazer with the gold buttons the detailing is insane i love it so much like it's just the bomb the perfume is under here but i am so obsessed with this blazer and this shirt and I could not say no to this bodysuit because I have this in orange, baby blue, white, black, burgundy, and like a sage type of green color, like a color like this. And now I have it in that apple green. Cannot go wrong, cannot go wrong. So while I was in the line with the top and the perfume, I looked across and I saw the blazer, the white blazer, and I've been wanting a white blazer so bad. I've had, like, I'm a blazer type girl, but I haven't worn blazers in such a long time because I have, like, I couldn't find the right blazer, if that makes any sense, because a blazer does a lot, okay? I've heard people say it's hard finding a good blazer, and to myself, I was just like, girl, what are you talking about It's hard finding a good blazer? But I completely understand what they mean because it was hard for me to find a good blazer but i oh okay this is just doing too much y'all i'm sorry if i'm if if it's looking too bright it's looking too bright whatever because i can't deal with this camera sometimes but anyways i looked across and i saw the blazer 
and I was like, even though the line was long and people weren't gonna let, you know, someone step out to come back and join the line, like, I was like, whatever. I'm not in a rush and I'm not with anyone. I'm just by myself, so, like, I have the time. It's okay. So, I left the line. What am I saying? So, after I made that purchase, I went to look at the blazer and then I saw that white top and I was just like, okay, I have to get these so i picked those up and then i left i went to sephora i didn't vlog my time in there because i legit only went in there to get where's the little bag oh i just went in there to pick up my continuous setting spray from morphe i bought two because like i went out i think wednesday and that was the end of it. That was the last of it. Like, do you see the glitch that it's doing? Crazy. But anyway, that's what happened. And then after I went to, where did I go? I went to Apple. I bought some headphones, like regular, regular headphones because the one, oh, excuse me, the one I had was just, it was giving out. So that's that. Oh, you guys, I'm just obsessed with my nails. I gotta get me a nice nail picture because you guys already know I like to, you know, post my nails. I didn't buy food when I was out and yeah. So I'm gonna order me something to eat because I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Oh, okay. So, hey guys. It's a new day today. Today is Monday. Um... I honestly don't remember if I showed you guys my nails. Did I show y'all my nails? Focus for me, please. Focus. There we go. There we go. I love my nails so much. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Quick story. So, there was a nail tech that I found earlier in the year. And um, I went to her a couple times. And you know, she did my nails exactly how I wanted my nails to be. Like, I'm extremely picky when it comes to my nails. So I actually like my nails when they have a curve to it. Like right now, these are just flat and straight, but that's okay, I'll, I'll get into that. So the girl I was seeing, she was doing my nails and they were on point, they were, you know, everything was good. It was right up until my last appointment with her, which is probably about a month ago now told you guys in my previous vlog that she was like rushing me okay out of her seat and it's like why are you rushing me i'm paying i'm here paying for my service so i expect you to do what you're supposed to do don't rush me okay and it's not my fault that y'all overbooked why would you guys overbook knowing the services that people want and knowing that like for example like i booked a petty and a refill with her why would you book someone for six because my appointment was for five knowing that an hour can't do a fill and a pedicure if i only want you to do it so anyways i just feel like she was trying to rush me because of that but what happened was she actually screwed up the shape of my nail and i didn't realize until legit last week i also noticed that my nails were lifting which should not ever be the case why my nails lifting so i was contemplating between getting a fill with her or going somewhere else so i went to my old nail salon that i used to go to last year right before the second wave hit and then toronto went on the lockdown so i went back there and i tried a different nail tech and the guy there did such a fantastic job like you guys like i said i'm extremely picky when it comes to my nails like do you see how straight this is like my nails are not crooked at all now my pinky may look a little crooked because of how it is like it, it naturally like bends but not the nail the finger itself but they're super duper straight like and they're just perfect and i went more with a square 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 design square design a square shape you know i can't do when it comes to this camera but anyways um yeah and i got them super square like he he understood the assignment he passed 
he did a great job so he will definitely be seeing me again um what i'm doing right now is i'm actually going to be out of town this weekend so i'm leaving this weekend and i'll be out of town all of next week as well <clears throat> so i am doing like my last minute shopping things that i need to buy things that i need for this trip so i have to make sure anything that i need i place the order today so that there's enough time for it to come which i know it'll come on time before friday so that's why i gotta make sure everything is like purchased today yeah i'm also 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 i am on zara <clears throat> and let me show you guys this purse that i bought i'm gonna show you guys as you guys know i have this one cute black handbag which is my YSL handbag the Lulu one I love that bag two pieces it is the cutest thing ever and I'm so happy I got it but you know I got some other stuff that I'd like to bring and I can't bring because it can't hold in the purse so I bought this purse from Zara this blue it is so pretty how cute is this bag like uh, zara's been doing it this year and i'm so pleased i'm so impressed and i just feel like they know what they're doing okay they know what they're doing um this bag so online it looks smaller but it's actually a decent size like i wore this last week my girl and i mean she needs to went out and i brought this bag with me and while i was packing it and putting myself in there i like it holds it holds everything that i need it to hold okay so this bag it comes in blue i had to get the blue because i don't have a blue handbag um it comes in the apple green black orange and i think a creamy nude color so at first i had this one and the orange in my cart but i was like you know what i can do without the orange bag let me get the blue and i bought something else as well i don't remember. i think it was like some more jewelry or something so yeah that's what i bought but i say all of this to say i'm on zara right now and i'm thinking about getting it in black because the size is so you know decent it's convenient it holds what i need it to hold and it's a very stylish bag i love the gold chain like it's just everything to me so as much as i love my wild cell lulu having another you know like cute stylish black handbag that can actually hold things would be great so i'm thinking about getting the black and i also want to get these heels like i just think these are so bomb in this yellow it comes in other colors but these are the two things that i have in my cart that i think i want to purchase for sure i'm getting the bag i'm not too sure if i want the heels but i think i really really want these heels like these would look so bomb with a nice colorful fit or you know me doing a full black fit with these right here these would be fire um i'm gonna search for a black blazer because that's what i really really want so yeah
Hey guys, hello, hello, hello. So, um, you guys, I haven't um, spoken to you guys in such a long time. I did vlog yesterday, but there was no talking to you guys. I am still tired, okay? I'm still tired. Um, my flight, I wish, by the way, I'm still in Canada. Um, my flight, <laughs> It was a four hour flight and it was not the greatest okay it wasn't but it is what it is i thank god you know we got here safely and we're you know we're good to go so um today's monday <clears throat> we had plans to do something but we're actually gonna switch it around and we're gonna go to the mall we're gonna shop and of course you guys know i'm gonna take y'all with me I'll take y'all with me we're gonna shop together um, I definitely have to go to Sephora. I want to go to um, Zara. You know, just see what's there. Um, pick up anything that I see that I like that's nice, you know. But I definitely have to go to Sephora. Um, I don't even have my phone with me. I don't even know the time right now. The last time I checked, it was like 9 something. 9 something. I don't remember. I think it was like 9.02 was the last time um, I checked the time. But I'm actually about to do my hair, you know, just fix it up a bit, throw on a ponytail, and I'm going to do my face, and then I'm going to, I don't even know what I'm wearing today, but I'm going to figure it out. But uh, yeah, I and mean, you guys will come with me, and we'll have a fun time together. So I will catch you guys later. is ready 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 and makeup is looking real good too so these are the heels that i was telling you guys that i was thinking about getting i didn't order them online but just seeing them and holding i don't really like the material the fabric so that's a no for me it's the next day um i don't know what's going on with my camera I, I don't know if i touched something because it's looking a bit weird right now but um yesterday the last place you guys saw me was um was in sephora and while i was recording um you know like little things i was picking up one of the workers there she came over to me and she was like oh you know i want to record in the store da, da, da. and i'm just like okay because I've, I've seen people in sephora shopping and recording and no one has said anything to them and the funny thing with that as well is um while i was shopping in there and recording there were other workers in there that saw me and didn't say anything to me she was the only one that said that so i don't know if she was like a manager or something but i was like turned off so i didn't even get to show you guys um the things that i bought i have Ooh, this big bag right here so i'm gonna show you guys that right now okay so i picked up a few things i needed you guys know this um, is the lip gloss that I've been rocking lately. This would focus, 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 focus. Yeah. Um, these are the shades Milk Tea, 
and honey drizzle i think it's um it's from Asia. so i bought two more of that because what i have is going down i finally got my hands on the becca primer i've heard so many good things about it because you guys know right now i use the milk primer so i wanted to try something different i don't know why this won't focus there we go so i wanted to try something different so i picked this up got myself another beauty blender because why not also for concealer i picked up another Too faced concealer shade butterscotch because what i have right now is finishing so i picked up another i also got um another foundation because my current one is um spitting on me so you guys know i'm in the shade chai also i picked up the milk makeup this is a setting spray I use their primer, so I w I'm kind of excited to try this. So I'm definitely going to try this spray when I use the primer. I don't want to try it with this just yet. I want to try it with the milk primer. Um, also, I got myself another um, Laura Mercier translucent powder in honey. So lately I noticed when I'm doing my makeup, I'm knocking the powder out so hard and I realized it's finishing. So had to get another one and then i decided to get this laura mercier sponge as well well powder whatever this is i had to get this and then got myself two perfumes this one is called bad boy this one smells so good you guys like oh my gosh so this one is in the 100 mil and then i got the good girl perfume in a 10 mil because they didn't have the 50 mil and this one was a definite yes for me so i had to get that and then i also went to morphe and i picked up some new brushes you guys know the eyeshadow brush that i use what is it from morphe m4 for one i love this eyeshadow brush so much so i picked that up i got four of those and then I also picked up this brush as well. This is great to use under the eye when you're adding like eyeshadow on your lower lash line. What's the number of this one? This is, this camera is, oh my gosh. Like you guys, look, look at struggling to focus. Okay, anyways, this is M, what is it? M431, so I got that. And also from Morphe. I picked up these eyelashes. I got two of the same thing. And this one is called Yes Queen. There we go. So yeah. That's all I picked up yesterday at the mall. I had so much fun in Sephora before that girl told me to stop recording, which I was so annoyed. But it's whatever. You know, got myself new perfume. So we good over here. All right, so today is Tuesday. I am not too sure what we're gonna be doing today, but whatever we do, I'll be bringing you guys with me. So just know that. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just on my computer, you know, transferring and doing a bit of work, even though I shouldn't be because technically I shouldn't be working right now. But you know, I do what I gotta do. And yeah, so I am going to freshen up and again whatever i gotta do whatever we do today i'll bring you guys so i me not participate in them things there so me not roll it hi guys <laughs> <laughs> Focus on communicating Cause I do need the time and place to come
This one's shivering. Tamara, look down. No, like in the bush. <laughs> look how far. Uh, did you hear someone scream? Yeah, yes. somebody screamed. This is a cute little. Oh, we are almost there. That's the peak. And we have to come down, guys, too. This is an experience that you have for your books. We're almost there. We're in there in 20 seconds. Three, two, one. Touchdown. Woo! Don't tell your friends. Black nigga with a neck tat. Respect that old bitch. She ain't like that. She left that drop, drop. Brand new can't even get a hold of her. Look at this. I know I haven't spoken to you guys in a couple of days, but y'all, I've been so tired. Like, so, so, so tired. Um, I've just been catching up on rest because that road trip we did, that was like an all day thing. Um, we just went out to get something to eat because, you know, we were hungry, but we're home now. We have, um, Today is Friday, we have tomorrow, and then we leave and head back to Toronto on Sunday. But um, I just wanted to pop in and say hi. Um, 
I think we're gonna go out for dinner later on. I don't know what's on the agenda for tomorrow. I'm gonna figure that out. I really dislike the color that I'm seeing on the screen. Really dislike it. But yes, just want to pop in, say what's up, you know. And how outside is looking, it looks like it's going to rain. So let's see what the weather deals with for, for the rest of the day. And then we'll make a move. We'll figure out what we're going to do. But um, yeah, if we go out, you guys will come along. I'll let y'all know, let y'all see the fits and all that good stuff. So yeah. Make it say, uh, no limit. Got that masterpiece. No limit, baby. Give you that black car. No limit. Just know when you're rolling and fight me. There's no limit, baby. Make it say, uh, no limit. See my murder that no limit, baby. Be that girl, be girl, no limit. Just know you go with it, like me. There's no limit, baby. Is it focused on me? It is it's focused. Hey guys, hey y'all. So it's been a couple of days and um, I'm home. I'm home, I'm home, I'm home. It's been a couple of days since I picked up my camera to, you know, like record. Um, today is Tuesday. I got back home from Alberta on Sunday, Sunday night to be exact yesterday was monday and i was so tired i was so sleepy so i just took the day to rest and you know just be to myself so like i said today is um woo, today's tuesday uh i need to hurry up and talk because my camera is um the battery is dying so i was editing the vlog and i realized i did not do an outro so y'all be you know y'all see my face right now because i didn't do an outro for my video and i just feel doing an outro i don't know i just feel like the video is more complete um it, it feels more planned if that makes any sense i don't know but yeah i just felt like i had to come on here and talk to you guys real quick do a proper outro for this vlog i enjoyed my time in alberta but i am extremely happy to be home you know like toronto is my city toronto is my home and i'm just happy to be home so today i have my makeup done i decided to get all cute and whatever because i realized throughout my entire stay the entire week last week i noticed that my makeup was looking horrible it looked so bad and i don't know if it's because of bad lighting i don't know if i wasn't blending properly i don't know what it was but my makeup did not look like my makeup while i was out there and i was using all the same products there was one day um we went out for dinner and I told you guys I went to Sephora. I showed you guys some of the goodies that I got and one of them being the Becca primer. And I think it was because I was rushing because I was pressed for time. But that was the first time in a very long time where my makeup looked horrible, okay? I mean, to others it may look good, but to me because I know what my face should look like I know the products that I use. I don't know if it's because of my first time using it. That's why I just prefer, like, whenever I buy a new product, I like to try, like, test it at home. Like, I'll do, like, a full beat and test it at home to make sure that, um, you know, it's good. I don't really like to try new products the day I'm going out because if I mess up, honey, it is, it is stressful for me. So because of my makeup looking horrible all of last week i decided to get dolled up today to um do my makeup and it's it's looking good it's looking good it's looking good also i'm wearing if this would just focus can it focus 
um these lashes that i'm wearing i'm looking at the viewfinder but the lashes that i'm wearing today they're from morphe i picked those up and this pair is called yes queen i believe is it yes queen yes it is and um i think i found a new favorite pair of eyelashes because you know it's doing what it's supposed to do and it's not you know like too much it gives that extra flare that i need you know to add to my makeup look but again it's not doing too much so i'm happy about that i have this week planned out i know what i'll be doing i know what i'll be filming i'm gonna be filming it's like i guess i would call it like an updated makeup routine um it's the makeup look that i have on right now i've been wearing it all summer and you guys love it a lot so i'm gonna record that this week i have another highly requested video that i'll be recording i won't tell you guys what video it is but you guys will see it on the channel i'll be recording that this week as well um tomorrow i have a nail appointment and that time has come i enjoyed listen here listen okay there we go i enjoyed you know my time with this set friday makes three weeks but um yeah i'm doing it tomorrow because it's, it's just time you know and um yeah i won't be doing my toes this time because they still look good they look decent like it does not look like they need to be done so I won't be touching my feet um, for this nail appointment. Next time I will for sure though. I'm not too sure what design I want to do. But I'm feeling to do something pinky orange. So I have a full like folder saved on Instagram. Of like all nail designs that I come across that I really really like. So that's what I'll be doing for um, some time later on. Just to find inspo because my nail appointment is tomorrow at 9 30 and i'm really really excited i just love my nails like like i said this friday marks three weeks and there are no lifting so i know you know the place that i went to i explained it to you guys before they're good okay they're just really good so i'm just happy All, my nails are just intact like they the, the shape you know is still there which i really really love because usually um after some time you know like the edges of your nails they tend to like round they did round a bit but i just love that it's still you know like square so yeah also i um took some selfies because you know why not i'm not gonna put the space to waste um i'm still gonna go you know like take some more i gotta look through the ones i took and then determine if i want to take some more and uh yeah stuff like that but like I said, I just wanted to pop through to say hi and then I'm home. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram at Tamara Renee. That's where your girl is at. All my pictures be at. Okay. Drop your comments below. And hit that little bell to be notified whenever I upload a video so you never miss a video. I love you guys so much. I missed you guys last week, but we are on track this week. So I will see you guys in the next video. I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.